Okay. Um, just having a just check that all of this is working. Okay. Um, and it is. I hate hearing the sound of my voice. Um, having a game of um, Catan Cities and Knights. Um, going to be playing against my nemesis, who um, I play a lot of games against. Um, Scarlet and uh, AKA Red. Because Scarlet always plays red. I always play blue, I think it is. Um gonna select an AI. Um not I, I tend to select veteran. Um although Scarlet tends to accept um tends to put on master. Um yeah, let's uh, let's just get started with that. AI is terrible in Catan. It, veteran master. I I assume veteran is a bit easier um, than master, but um, it's still atrocious. I'm first. I don't like being first. Um, let's have a quick scan of the board. Plenty of sheep. More sheep than, than you really need. Lots of hay going on. That's good. I mean, there's a very obvious position that, that strikes me is this 5, 8 and 10 hay. But I'd also like to get on this 5, 6, 9 sheep. Somebody else is going to take that. So well, then I've got to think, well, what else is valuable? I mean, there's not much in the way of ore. That's going to be a limitation on this board. So I'd like to have got my city in that position. That way I could be drawing two hay, drawing a, um, a wood wood logs timber is it timber i think it's t oh it says let's get the i always get the names wrong um we're all the same way we always call them different things um but yeah the city on there would have given me a a, a wood and a, a paper at the same time um i see lynn's gone for that prime position there um scarlet's done something sensible notice the shortage of ore and, and bags herself an ore um yeah so really despite me saying that actually sheep isn't much of an issue sheep is likely to be an issue now um i think i could really do with a brick but i could also do with hay so i'm going to position myself hmm I'm going to position my. If I position here, that means that I'll have to put a settlement there to get that hay. I'll be fighting for this brick, basically. No, well, green's not going to come round if I'm here, but I'll be certainly fighting Scarlet for the brick. So I'm going to go for the brick. Um, I'm looking for the timer on the wrong screen. Um, let's hope I don't regret that. Because, I'm saying that, my priority has to be getting a knight out on the board before the first barbarian raid. Now you roll a black ship, the, the um, black ship moves on one, eventually the ship lands here. If you haven't got enough knights on the board uh, versus the cities, the barbarian strength is the cities, um, then um, the barbarians will raid and somebody loses a city. Whoever contributes the least to the defence against the barbarians loses a city uh, so you don't want to be that person basically so my priority is really getting a knight on the board asap and in order to do that i need a ore it's about to say stone i like to call it stone i need a sheep and i need a hay and it doesn't look good for me at this stage in order to acquire that to be honest with you so Let's see. I mean, I need a 10 and a 5 to roll there. Statistically unlikely. Oh, a 9 would have been, you know, if I'd have put my thing on that. I mean, at least I've got sheep. Oh, and I've got paper before I lose my city as well. That's that's nice. Um, I wasn't going to say this, but, yeah, I tend to win um, a lot more games than red um, at the two of us. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of always rooting for red, although I lost to red earlier today, actually, um, brutally. But actually, well, yeah, I could make my excuses. Uh, connection error. The computer decided where I should put my settlement. I've got hate to trade. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, 
I did start the game with a caveat if I lose this game. Um, now, I mean, nobody's going to give me stone because the only person who's getting stone, other than myself, is Red. So Red's got no stone. Let's let's try for a hay. See if there's any joy there. Log for a hay. Go on, peeps. Nope. Let's do a log for a brick. See if there's any joy there. I don't want two logs. They're no use to me. Four logs might be useful. Okay, so can't really trade anything there. Oh, if that five hits, I'm I'm definitely in the money. Oh, right, hay sorted out. So it's just stones, really. Um, two logs would be nice. What are you going to do? Is that going to be an eleven rolled? No, of course not. No, nope. nobody's got hay, I'm afraid. Hmm, I might consider that. I might consider dropping you a hay for a log, depending on what I get next. Because if I get a log next, that would give me four logs. What have you just traded? Lynn trade something for something else. I don't know what that was. Oh, you're doing all right with your sixes, aren't you? Um, I actually need to use the irrigation to get the hay, but I'm sort of reluctant to because I'm not going to bother. Because that will put me up to seven cards. I'm going to hope that one of these two doesn't roll a, seven, uh, a black ship. There's a 50% chance that they won't roll a ship. Or a 50% chance that they will. So, fingers crossed. Right, well, there's one down. All it takes is either Lynn or myself not to roll a black ship. And we haven't. I'm still in it. So come on, Lynn, don't don't roll a ship. Oh, Lynn's rolled a ship. Well, that's me and Red losing our cities, which, you know, that sounds terrible for me to, about to say this, but I'd rather sort of Red lost the city than Lynn because Red's a bigger threat to me. Right. Well, at least I've got a um, rolled a seven. Now... Red is a bigger threat to me, and I would be putting the robber on red, except red will kick off at that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on Lynn. Um, I'm going to stick it on Lynn's hay. But what I really need is a brick. In fact, I'm going to stick it over here. Oh, that's really handy, because that's giving me... Oh, oh, it's not that handy, because I haven't actually got a... Um, city <laughs> so i can't use my development card at all um my progress card it's gone okay all right nothing that can be done there then it's going to take me a long time to acquire a city with that five i really need to be building another settlement under that five come on lynn don't be so mean that's, that's evil. That's pure evil. Um, I know I'm not going to trade trade with you there. I'm not, just not interested in what you've got to say, to be honest. Five. All right, that's given me a brick. That's given me a settlement. And that's given me a stone. Oh, I don't know what... Now, this goes a bit weird sometimes. Um, like that piece there. That's No, I don't know why. Oh, you can move them. Oh, I never knew that. Crikey. Okay, well, I don't like to make a mess um i need more stones before i can use that irrigation don't i really who's got a stone to give nobody no you just don't have to worry about knights though everybody's sorted for hay um and I'm on the old hayport, so I'm going to aim to build a settlement on the hayport. Um, and then when I've done that, my... Ooh, look at that. I think my priority would then be... Um, do I want... No, I don't. I haven't got hay to give at the moment. Um, my priority will be then to put... If I if I get a settlement on that hayport, I'm going to dump a city onto those, those hays there. Um, I'm not going to go for longest road at this stage because that's just sticking my neck out point-wise. Um, 
And if you put yourself ahead in points, you just become a target uh, for everybody to dump the robber on you. And um, cards also to be effective as well. There's a few cards that only target people that have got more victory points or the same number of victory points. The sabotage card, uh, where it forces the opponent to lose half the hand, you've got to have the same number of victory points. The wedding card targets somebody who's got more victory points ahead of you and that and that causes them to oh I'm tempted you know but no I'm going to wait it out oh no oh well that's all right because green might lose a city actually oh now I could steal the show with that smith card but I'm I'm sort of hoping that green loses a city let's hope red doesn't stick a knight down Red's lost half the hand. Red will probably put the rubber on me. No, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Red usually just puts it on me and then sees... Yeah, something like that between me and green and then sees which of us has got more victory points and takes the... the oh. Has earned herself a VP with oh would have had a brick then. I need a brick. Do I need a log? But can I trade my log in for a brick? No. No, I cannot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to risk dropping down a city. In fact, I'm going to drop the city down onto... Oh, I didn't realise I get four hay. Superb. Right, I'm going to drop the city down there. Um, and I'm going to see if anybody's got a brick for a log. don't really want to give a hay because I, I can imagine they're... Fairly precious. Um, okay, anybody want a hay? Time is running out. I'll let it go. Oh, I've got no city wall, so I've, I've got a maximum of seven cards in my hand if the robber strikes. Like now I've got eight, I can lose half my hand. It's a horrible number eight because you actually end up losing four cards, and when you're down to four, it's a really tough number of... There we go. It's a really tough number of cards to... Um, Toy about with. I'm going to get rid of logs and I'll get rid of a single hay. Oh, how many cards have I got? One more. <sighs> Need the sheep, so I'll get rid of three logs and a single hay. I know I'm going to get robbed. There we go. So I was just thinking, half of me was thinking, I don't know why, I seem to always get robbed. You see, I'm glad I got rid of the logs because I'm just straight back, aren't they? Um, I just call it paranoia, but I convince the AI targets me a lot. Although, saying that, I am actually ahead in points. I didn't realise that. Um, oh, yeah, the AI, Lynn, has dropped, lost a city, so he's gone down one. Oh, plenty of hay there. Um, oh, oh, great. Inventor card, I like that. So, what can I do with this inventor card? I think I can drop in... Um, I'm going to lose who's got a 5 or a 9. I'm going to drop in that 9 there. And it's probably not as sensible as dropping in a 5 somewhere. How much I've got plenty of time. So there's one of the 5s. Where's the other 5? There's the other 5. So I've already got the 5. I've got the 5 here. I've got the 9. Um, you can't move the, you can't move the 6 and the 8. So the 9s are the highest to move. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop in the nine there, and then it's just gonna be Hay City. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to trade. I meant to trade four Hays for a brick. Um, so when a nine hits, it's just gonna be crazy for Hay for me. Lynn's doing okay on the old um, progress of her um, yellow one, the construction. Oh, and that's gonna help with the old progress of the politics. Now I'm really 
needing a brick at some point soon. I've got hay. We're okay for hay. Uh, I say brick, I'm, I'm into stone. Let's, um, anybody trading me for a stone? No. Okay. Um... Let's do four haze for a stone. Let's drop a knight in there. Just an awful waste of hay, but at some point... Hmm, so I'll smash that up to a... Um, no, I'm going to chance it. In actual fact, a, a, a sort of progress card is going to be worth more to me than the VP at this stage, I think. I really could do with a yellow progress card. Um, they're handy. Well, yeah, Lynn's... Then's really unlock some. Yeah, so if anybody's not familiar with Catan, um, yeah, thanks, Scarlet. Um, those three yellows represent your your progress um, in order to receive a reward. If the dice is rolled on either a yellow, blue, or green, and corresponding to the number, so. Basically, the more progress you make on a city, the more you unlock, the higher the number will reward you with a progress card. And I'll show you an example of that later. Now, you'll give me a, a sheep for a hay. Um, will be quite handy, a sheep. I've, I've, oh, certainly a brick is handy. Let's do that. Let's get, let's get a brick. But you see, this is what the AI does to me sometimes. All right, obviously not. No, you're trading me that. You want that brick back for a stone. It's badness. What have you taken off me there? Oh, God. All right, that's, that was brutal. Uh, no, I, do, I don't know what's going on here. And I'm not interested. No, I said no. I might, I might do it when it's my go. In which case, you've changed your mind there. Yeah, sometimes the AI requests a trade with me, and then, oh, that's so frustrating. Chase that away. Stick it on there, because by the time it's the AI's go, hopefully... Oh, got that log off you anyway, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't want the... the victory point at this stage if if you've got more knights and you you've therefore defended um the board against the raid more than anybody else you get a victory point um but it's sort of sticking your neck out the earlier in the game the if you've got most victory points you're sticking your neck out although yeah red red will make any excuse to rob me and, and there's one we're on equal victory points Oh, got myself a paper. I hate being robbed. I'll be, I'll be flat out honest about that. I, I really dislike being robbed. Look at this. I'm paying attention to chat for a change. I don't know how... how uh, yeah, <laughs> I did a stream for about two hours and um, didn't notice the chat. I, I'm, I'm the world's worst streamer. Um, like, abs absolutely terrible. Um, now, what's going on? I need to roll the dice. I can't do two things at once. Terrible. I need to get rid of that robber off me as well. Now, who's ahead of me? Nobody. This master merchant, you can pick an opponent that's got more victory points than you, and nobody has, and thieve from them. So all I can really do is that. And that. You know, Lynn's on Lynn's the veteran AI, okay, which isn't the best. And and there's there is a chance. Not high, because the AI really makes some stupid decisions later in the game, but there is a chance that Lynn's going to beat us both. I would say one in 20 games, the AI beats both myself and Scarlet. Um, and it's tragic when that happens. Now, this is good. Oh, you thieving AI. Um, 
Oh, that's that was terrible. Lost all that hay. I was going to I was going to trade it in for a sheep. Now what you no I don't, you, don't, you can't sell me about my hay. No, you know what? I'm not interested. Oh yeah, if you don't some basically one terrible tactic, and I don't recommend you do this. Oh, you're going to take it anyway, aren't you? Great. Um, one terrible tactic is to just sort of delay on trading with other players so that the timer runs out. It's, it's awful, really. So we're all a bit wise to doing that to each other. There's about four of us human players that play a lot, and we're all sort of wise to that tactic. So we don't do it to each other. Well, I don't do it. Um, ooh, another inventor card. What can I do? Where can I steal off the AI? Where can I cause the AI the most pain? I can't really. So let's cause some pain to Lynn, which is awful. Um, you know what? AI's not got a lot of hay, has it? So that's going to really make the hay situation worse on the AI, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop in another knight at this stage. No, no, I'm not. Thank God for that. Um, is the AI ahead of me? No, because um, my priority has got to be. Oh, look at that! I've, I've, oh no, I've, well, it's given myself a hey. My priority has really got to be to get a settlement onto that five. Really, give myself double the stone income if the five comes up, but also. Um, to give myself um, that ability to trade, even though I've just lost my... I've done myself in with that. Um, oh. Really done myself in, haven't I? Oh, that's my only coin. I haven't even had a chance to spend it yet. I should have spent that last go. I think I had that last go, and I just didn't notice. That's horrible, that. When you realise you haven't spent your blue coin, traded in for a card, and the dice rolls, and you could have got a card, could make all the difference. One one progress card. Um, can't remember what I was talking about anyway, so obviously wasn't important. Um, no, it's brick I'm after, really. So give me brick, I'll be your friend. Red's gonna give me a brick, I think. Is red, red. Oh yeah, red's had two bricks, so red will give me a brick. And I'll, otherwise, I'll just take a brick. Red won't trade with me if I take a brick, though. Let's just take a brick. Okay. Drop that in there. Now, red's gonna lose a city. I'm pleased with that. <laughs> um, it's, it's so, sometimes it's better strategically for oh taking my only hey you meanie. Um, oh, Red's not going to lose a city. Red's going to actually get the VP the victory point. Um, sometimes it's strategically better to cause a player to lose a city than it is for you to gain a VP. So look at the situation. Right, the barbarian strength is three. There's one, two, three cities on the board. That's the barbarians get their strength from the number of cities. For every city on the board, the barbarian has a strength of one. What did what did Red play then? It must have played a Smith card. Um, oh dear. Okay. Um, now. Your knights defend, and as long as you've got more active knights, and it's got to be an activated knight. Oh, sorry. Let's um, let's think about this. Do I? If I build that road, it will give me the longest road, which is another two victory points. Um, do I really want to do that at this stage? I may. I'm in the lead anyway, so make it more challenging for somebody to take it off me. I suppose could do a sheep though. You know. Let's drop. That there and that there, which puts me in the lead and gives me an opportunity to build a settlement. Now, who's going to give me what for a sheep? Or who wants what for a sheep? Nobody. Nobody's got a sheep to trade. I'm not going to waste my smith card on one knight. I'm going to wait till I've got another knight. 
So I'll just hang about until we've got. Oh, I could have got rid of that rubber. Oh, yeah, I was in the middle of explaining that. Now, with the rubber, we've got one, two, three, because that's a double strength knight, four, five, six knights. So six knights will defend against a barbarian strength of three. Who, Because of that, whoever's contributed the most, which is red in this case, Scarlet, contributed four knights. Scarlet gets a victory point. There we go. You've seen that go up from four to five. Um, and what I was saying is sometimes it's better. Oh, is Lynn going to be dumping a settlement? This is where the AI is crap, really, because the AI has dropped a road there. But I don't think the AI was going to really build a settlement. I don't know. Could be wrong. Now. Come on. Come on, Scarlet. I'll have a hay off you for a log. If I can drop a settlement there. The AI should have really prioritised building a settlement there because it can see I'm about to oh come on I'll give you a log and a stone for a hay what is it going to take to get this hay off you okay it's not happening is it just not happening I'm over the number of cards I should have played a knight now, you're going to want to trade your hay in, aren't you, for... Oh, no, you spent them both. I really hope Lynn doesn't drop a settlement there. I've wasted a road trying to build out that way. As you can see, the settlements have to be two roads apart at a minimum. So, where... I can't build a settlement there, because it's too close to this one. Can't build one there because it's too close to those two. I'll be able to build there or there. Oh, is it my go already? Why did Lynn skip a go? I don't, who knows? Let's have a look. Oh, spy card. This lets me look at somebody else's cards. So I'm going to look at Lynn's because Lynn's got the most. Oh, I'm going to use that. Mm. I might use the... Which one did I just... Oh, I clicked on the medicine one. Never mind. Um, I can trade four logs in for a hay. Drop a settlement there. Now. Nobody's got more points than me. There's nothing else I could play apart from my Smith card. To upgrade. Okay, so I'm on nine victory points. Yeah, once you're pretty much in the lead, it doesn't make it much difference how much you're in the lead. So, you know, if I was on seven points... I'm in the lead, so it might as well be on 9, 11, doesn't matter. A lot of those cards that can target me will target me. The only thing that's pretty bad, I mean, as human players, we have a rule. We, because we do bicker about who the robber falls on. We, our rule is... Um, oh, that's nice. Put it on the winner, basically. That just And it's strategically the better thing to do. Now, this is a nice unlock here. When I click on that city improvement, um, nobody else has got this specific politics unlock. It means if anything's rolled and I don't gain a resource from it, um, I can pick a resource, any resource I want. Now, what do I do? Do I drop another row? Do I... I really need a city, to be honest. So I can trade. What can I trade for a hay? Who's going to trade me for a hay? Nobody. Okay. I can't trade four stones for a hay. That's no good to me. But I will need a hay at some point. But not this go. Really don't know what to do here. Um, which means I'm going to... Let's... Oh, time out. I don't like being on eight cards when my goes over. Because if seven's rolled, I've lost half my cards. And the lower the number of cards you've got, the, the more damage that effectively does. Sometimes the AI sat on 30 cards. It's crazy. But losing 15 isn't the end of the world. Okay, I managed to evade the robber. However, I have got myself 
the ability to build a city and the ability to activate a knight. Now, I think I'm going to prioritise the city and then just one knight. I'm going to put my city here. So I've already got a city on the hay, so let's do that. Let's activate the knight. Let's drop another knight in here. And let's play that smith card as well. Get those two boosted up. So that spent some cards anyway. Um, ooh, time is up. 10 points. So the game ends um, on 13 victory points. I like to try and wangle things so I can finish on 14 just because I don't know. So I like to try and get up to 12 and then, then get two more victory points. It's just more of a challenge really to, to get more victory points than is the winning victory points. We'll see. It's just it's more important to win. It's not. It's more important to have fun. That's That's the thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, unless winning is fun and then you can win and have fun yeah I mean it's just it feels a bit like right I've got deserted there um, red will just end up with a one level knight because you can only have two of each level so um, to get a level three knight you need to um unlock the level three in the blue basically you can't get a level three knight until you've done that now i would have gained some hay there which would have been nice but i didn't so I could really do with getting rid of oh well, that's good I've, I've got one of those anyway um I've got bishop card to play here. Where should I play that? I'm going to play that. Where's going to do the most damage to who? It's really red that's the threat to me, but I want to take a card off each of them, so let's put it over here. Wow! That's good. Happy with that. Now, who's going to give me... Nobody's going to trade anything with me, are they? There's no point in me trying to fight against all those knights. Just build a road. Drop another knight on the board. That'll do. I'm trying to just keep my... you know, If I'm on seven cards and a seven's rolled now, it's not the end of the world. Hmm... The chance of rolling a 7 is about 20%, I think. So, what you've got to think about is... Okay, so... If it's my go, there's a 1 in 5 chance that Red will roll a 7. There's a 1 in 5 chance that Lynn will roll a 7. And then before it comes back to my go, you know, my action, I have a roll of the dice as well. And in which case there's a 1 in 5 chance that I will roll a 7. I knew that the computer was going to get rid of that road of mine. Um, so there's about 50% chance between goes that a 7 is going to be rolled. Let's go for that. Terrible maths, but there we go. Um, let's just drop a road in here. I seem to be getting the thing thrown on that 9 a lot, so I'm going to activate that knight. Um, ready to drop in a settlement as soon as possible, to be frank. Um, I've ended my go because I can't be bothered trading. And not that anybody will trade, basically. Although I'm, I'm well over the seven cards. But I think, I think I'm just, you know, it's, it's the home straight now. We'll see. I mean, one, two, three, four... Five red's got five rows. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So red could take the longest road off me. Put red on ten points and me on eight points. I could finally use that master merchant card on red, but it wouldn't take me long to get it back. Oh, you oh, yeah, I've been robbed brutally. 
What, what aren't I fussed about? I'm not fussed about those, and I'm not fussed about those, so let's just get rid of all of that. Oh, I was fussed about that. Ten. And that's good. I, I think I'll take my hay back, and I'm going to jump, chase away that robber. I'm going to stick it on. Who's threat to me? Red, really. Stick it on red. Oh, that's good. Okay. There we go. Job done. Nothing else I can do, really. If red takes that longest road off me, it's not the end of the world, because I will... Take two cards off red and then sabotage them. God, that's cruel. In fact, I'll sabotage them first. More damage. Oh, I've got sabotaged. <laughs> that's karma. That is karma. Um, yeah, how many have I got? Two more. Got to get rid of two more, eh? Okay, let's do that. Oh, I wonder if Red's going to go for that road, the longest road. Am I bothered? I am, actually. Well, no, not, not temporarily, because I know I'm going to get it straight back. I just... Oh, it would have been nice if Red had gone for the longest road, though. Could have done. I'm going to have to drop a road in there just to secure it, really, but I would like Red to have it temporarily. And then me to get it back. That wedding card, any player who's got more victory points than you must give you two cards, so that would be me and Red. Red's just given a brick and a coin. Oh, Lynn has got a Metropolis. So when you unlock a level four on each of those progress things, you get a Metropolis, which gives you a big McDonald's M above your think um longest road or right i can trade in two commodities because i've unlocked that ability through developing the yellows for a hay so i'm going to do that and i could drop a little settlement in there I'm on 11 points now. This is risky if Red does take the longest road off me, because Red could get a victory point at any point. That's a good card to have. That, that determines the dice roll. So I'm going to obviously be rolling a 9 when it's my go. Red could get a victory point right now. Red could then use the merchant. So Red, Red could get a victory point card, for example. Red could use a merchant card. If Red's got a merchant card, that gives Red a victory point. Take the longest road off me. That puts Red onto 12. And then get a victory point from winning. So there is a threat, even at 9 points, and the game goes up to 13, that Red could win. Ooh, stolen all that. Stones. But Lynn's not really a threat to me. What I need to... What was that? Another Metropolis? That was the one I was going for, Lynn. Right. I'm going to use my Alchemist to determine what's rolled on the dice. I'm going to go for the lowest red number possible to maximise the chance of me hitting hmm, on that. Minimise the chance of red hitting. Great. Too late to unlock a metropolis on that. So I really need a city, basically, now. Let's try two of those for that. Let's up this. Oh, this is this was a poor decision actually. Oh no, time's run out. I don't. I didn't know what I was doing to be honest. There, I sort of panicked a bit. Okay. At least I've secured that longest road. 
and there's not, not really much danger of red taking it off me. Red could displace that knight with a level 3 knight. But that's that's the longest road secured. I was really expecting to get a metropolis, and it's going to be tough for me now to to take that green metropolis off, off Lynn. I can get to a level 5 and take the metropolis back off Lynn. Once you've secured it on a level 5, you're done. You know, nobody can take it off you. But we'll see. God, it's so nuanced this game. Level five. There's, a, there's a lot to it. It, it doesn't take long to um, to learn, but it takes a while to master. Eight's good. Pleased with an eight. Um. I think I'm just going to activate knights for the moment. I think my best bet... Oh, I've, I didn't realise I've got a level 3 um, trade. Uh, I can trade 3 resources because that port etc i think my best bet is to go f and try and get metropolis off lynn oh, otherwise you know i need two more cities how many settlements have we got left to build um hmm. yeah I, mean, I, I can basically my my winning strategy now is either get more knights than red which is tough well i'm not that tough red's only got five Oh, look at that. Red's on 11 points as well. Oh, this is not good. Um, these are like sabotage red. <laughs> so petty. But you, you can only sabotage, cause somebody to lose half their half their cards if they've got the same amount of victory points than you. But what's the biggest threat to me from red now? Red, red building a city and a settlement. Red's not really going to take a metropolis. Um... Yeah, Red having more knights than me, I suppose. I really need a city on the go, to be fair. Okay, I can use the deserter card on Red. Oh, that's not the deserter card. Take one of Red's knights. Red's going to give me her level one knight. That's fine. Come on then, get on with it. If green had had just two level two knights, then green would have had to give me a level two knight. Red's uh, delaying the inevitable here. I can sabotage red, but I can't master merchant red. Okay. Um, I can trade in those two for a city. Let's go for this and build a city. Let's hope a nine comes up. Um... I can build another settlement. Where's going to be the quickest, easiest place to build another settlement? It's probably going to be just around here. I have to build two roads anywhere, so I might as well build them this way and keep that longest road as long as possible. Can I use the crane card? I can't at the moment. But I do have that merchant fleet card. Let's just upgrade that knight while we're at it, because I'm probably going to get robbed. Oh, there could have been something to have stolen those 13 victory points all in that go. I'm sure I had enough cards messing around. Oh, I forgot to use the sabotage card. But Red's lost half her hand anyway, so he's not at the end of the world. Red can't get the Metropolis. Red's on a length six nights. Um, and... Uh, yeah, hey. Yeah, I am... Um, I, well, I do play it in Steam, actually. I, I downloaded it from Steam. Um, I play it on the tablet. <laughs> I also have it on the mobile phone as well. And we also physically play the physical board game as well. We're a bit Catan mad. I don't know. I have a game a day, maybe, of Catan. Um, I used to have some good old sessions. But yeah, um, uh, yeah. Hi, hi, Block Blaster. I uh, hope you're well. And hi, everybody else who's joined the stream as well. I, I don't know if Ponder83 is still in there, but I would say hi to people because I, I think that's what streamers do. I sort of started this stream um, 
to record things basically and not and then i could put it on twitch dump it on youtube not clog up my hard drive um and i've actually started enjoying streaming so um hey nuff valo um and um i'm not sure um tatten i i think i think that's how you pronounce it um what is it is it my go i'm, I'm rabbiting on i see I, I cannot multitask i haven't had that patch installed yet for multitasking um right can I sabotage? I've missed my sabotage opportunity. Um, what can I do to earn myself a victory point? There's absolutely nothing. I can activate a knight. Let's do that. Let's use the merchant fleet on the logs, trade in the logs for a hay, activate that knight I so callously stole. I don't want to chase that robber away because I'm now in the lead with the knights. Let's hope I let's hope Red doesn't build one more knight and then deprives me of a victory point. What happens in that situation is that you end up getting a development card each. If you each equally win, contribute the number of an equal number of knights and defeat the barbarians, you get both get rewarded with a development card each, a progress card. Red's not spotted that. The red's key to me not winning, i.e. red's key to her own victory, is to just basically build a n another knight. Uh, I don't know if red's had the opportunity to have done that. don't know if a fall's come up. Let's have a look at the dice statistics. These statistics even themselves out over the long run. Um, seven's the most common, but in this game, eight's come up a lot. Well, that's statistics for you, but over... Oh, that's nasty. That's some... I'm chatting away, and there's some right filthy play there. How do I get rid of that? No, I don't want to quit the game. Right, let's roll the dice. Okay, um, yep, I'm going to choose a hay, and the reason I'm going to choose a hay is I'm going to do this. I'm going to chase away the robber, stick it there, rob red. I'm going to activate that behind me so I don't forget and get caught out. And now I'm going to chase away the robber, and I'm going to rob red again, and I'm going to activate behind me. And then finally, I'm going to chase away the robber. And I'm going to rob red one more time. And I'm just going to activate that knight behind me as well. Okay, and then what can I do? Oh, I can play the merchant card. I didn't see that. Well, you get a victory point for playing the merchant card. So I've done all that just to annoy red, actually. <laughs> and red will be fuming about that. So I just... Oh, there's no point in putting them. It doesn't matter. It's giving me a point of one. Okay. Me and Red do bicker. We play every day. Yeah, more or less every day. Sometimes two two games in a day. We've had two today. Um, we might have another one. Depends how annoyed Red is with me. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you, if you have any questions about strategy, this is my favourite game. I've played a fair old number of board games in in over the years. Um, and what Red's, Red is sending me a message now. Um, close one uh i'll just i'll just put a gg and then casually another one i was actually planning to stream a game called i think it, it's one i bought on xbox the other day came out in april so i was in a streaming mood the stanley parable which um i had a really miserable time on a game called mist and um yeah, I, I still am having a miserable time on Mist, and um, I then decided to to download the Lego game so I could feel some sense of achievement with a puzzler. And um, yeah, I uh, I got quickly bored of that. Oh, I think I'll revisit it. And I found this Stanley Parable, so so it's a nice puzzler, and that, that should be good fun to to do. Let's see what Red's saying. Is Red is Red willing for another game? If not, I think I'll come off and then stream this Stanley Parable game because it does look interesting, and I've got a bit of a backrooms vibe thing going on. So um, it's, it's got that it's got that backroomsy vibe to it which I like. It just looks an interesting game. And somebody said it's it's like a meta game. So it's a game about it's a game about games. Oh so Blockbuster's seen Stanley Parable, played it or, or had a go. Um I think it was out on PC and it came out on console, 
recently. So should be should be good fun. Um, but yeah, I was going to stream that originally, and then then Scarlett said, "Do you want a game? Let me um, let me just message Scarlett one more time." Um, I can't phone. I because she's watching a movie. <laughs> Do you want a another quick game? Let's make it appealing. Quick game. I have to be delicate. Can't can't make it competitive. I can't say. Do you want another thrashing? She'll, she'll definitely not be up for that. But another quick game, maybe. Um, I could just play with randoms, but um, they thrash me, and that just you know puts me on tilt for it. No, but actually, I I am terrible. I mean, I I hammer Scarlet, you know, daily. That sounds wrong, um, but I I do sort of. I'd say Scarlet beats me one out of every. 30 games maybe i mean it's that bad right um and i have been helping her out and actually part of the reason i thought i'll record this is so that she can watch it back um but when i play online oh sometimes i get thrashed but i do end up playing the really complicated variants right scarlet's ignoring me in which case i'm going to sign off um i haven't streamed with a webcam before so this is a novelty to me this this nasal cam that i've got going on i'm going to stream on the xbox and i've got another camera for that so we'll see how that that works out um the xbox i've put into my little um like cubby hole and it's just sat there overheating the entire time so that'll be interesting if it streams i think i i streamed something the other day and it just failed miserably um but yeah i'll jump back on in um i don't know yeah let's go for half nine i'll jump back on at half nine and we'll get this stanley parable on the go and if block blasters about you can give me some advice um and well if any of you guys have seen it give me some advice um uh, yeah it is <laughs> that is from um a um ex's um mother who passed away and um, bequeathed it uh, not not in the will but <laughs> bequeathed it to me because i'd been harping on about liking singers it's not like i went around to a place and i was like um oh i've got i've always fancied a singer. you know i wasn't dropping hints like that but I, I do like old vintage stuff and i actually i actually tried to use that singer and i, I it's my only sewing machine and um so i will be using that at some point um and not retrofitting it with a raspberry pi and a motor i'll just i'll just use it as is just cranking it round should be fun um but yeah i'll um i'll just i'll just grab something to to um drink and eat and then i'll, I'll stream back this stanley parable and we'll see um we'll see my xbox catching on fire that that should be pretty good fun um so yeah um really pleased that you guys could um join me oh it was years ago uh it was years ago but thanks thanks <laughs> i'm not so callous as it was like last week she died and, and i'm laughing about it now it was, it was years ago she passed away and she's elden blah 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 um but um yeah i um I will. Um, I'll get. I'll get streaming. But thank you ever so much for joining on the stream. And I hope that you know. I like some of the. I like a range of games. I'll, I'll, I mean, most of the time I'm playing Battlefield, FPS, and you know I like the high pace games. But I also like some of these chilled out thinking games. You know, um, Sudoku, Catan. I've been playing this Futoshiki. Um, and it, and if you like those sort of more mentally taxing games you sort of chess type games i 100 percent recommend Catan. it's it's absolutely brilliant the physical game is about 30 quid to buy in the shop um so i just i just bought um this um and you know what check out websites like g2a.com gameivo all these all cd keys they're all legit and they give you keys to download stuff so you're paying like 79p instead of 10 quid um so yeah, I of, of chill games. Thanks, Bot Blaster. Of chill games, I really recommend Catan. It's it's really strategic, and you and it's one of those games that you can properly get into the zone with. You you get into the flow state. You you just totally absorbed by the game when you're playing it. So yeah, it's 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 really really good, and it certainly gets a lot more complicated than this Cities and Nights um, as well. But okay. I've said I'm going about five minutes ago. Signing off. I'll see you at half nine if anybody's still knocking around then. Uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for joining me. And um, I'll end this stream now.